What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Adolescent Sheldon Cooper isn't as young anymore as he once was when season 7 arrives. It might be time for the showrunners of Young Sheldon, the spin-off from one of the most popular sitcoms of the 21st century, to consider wrapping up the series. Snide comments about the existence of Young Sheldon have become older than the series' star itself. However, these remarks are unwarranted because the show has consistently remained one of the highest-rated network hits on TV. Yet, the very title of Young Sheldon suggests that the series can't expand endlessly like its parent program, The Big Bang Theory. In fact, as we look at the larger narrative, we're rapidly approaching the point where Sheldon will age up and not be considered young anymore. For this reason, we believe the seventh season of the series should mark the end of the sitcom's run. Regular viewers of the spin-off series will remember that adult Sheldon confirmed his father's premature death through voiceover at the end of season 4. Now the entire show's trajectory seems to be moving toward that inevitable life event. While these events were long past in the time The Big Bang Theory takes place, this loss is going to hit much harder now that viewers have spent six seasons getting to know Sheldon's father, George. George is such a major character in the series that his death could be devastating, potentially leading the showrunners to consider ending the series to preserve its legacy. We've already glimpsed the emotional weight his character carries, especially after his heart attack in Season 1. But George's physical well-being isn't the only aspect the show is focusing on. Throughout Season 5, George develops an interesting relationship with his recently divorced neighbor, Brenda, creating tensions in his own marriage with Mary. The simmering pot begins to bubble, with various family members experiencing significant milestones. Season 6 delves further into these tensions and other family members' experiences, making it clear that the show is entering the territory typical of a sitcom's penultimate season. This progression strengthens the case for concluding the series with one final season. An important factor to consider is the effect George's passing and infidelity will have on Sheldon. Losing his father and dealing with the aftermath of George's affair could be the catalyst for adult Sheldon's difficulties with emotional intelligence. Childhood traumas like these would inform Sheldon's lack of trust and intimacy which he slowly overcomes with Amy throughout the Big Bang Theory. Moreover, these events mark the end of a fairly complacent era for the famously complicated Cooper family. In Season 11 of The Big Bang Theory, in the episode titled The Sibling Realignment, adult George confronts Sheldon for leaving home soon after their father's death, highlighting Sheldon's selfishness. Once Sheldon moves out, it will be nearly impossible to consider him a child. These life-changing events will make him seem older, creating a significant gap between him and his family. After these events, it's hard to imagine how the show could continue past Season 7 without defying its basic premise. Season 6 has also been a departure from Sheldon's usual know-it-all antics, focusing more on George's personal life. Some fans have even proposed a spin-off which could be a way to keep the series alive. Although this idea is intriguing, it would require moving away from the Young Sheldon title. Spin-offs of spin-offs are rare but not unheard of, and using Ian Armitage's brilliant young grad student character for guest appearances or phone conversations could be a feasible approach. The timing for such a spin-off couldn't be better, considering the family's mourning over the loss of their patriarch and adjusting to life without Sheldon. The focus could easily shift to Georgie and Mandy's new family, while still keeping the essence of the story intact. While saying goodbye to George's character is difficult, the show has been hinting at its fate, and perhaps it's finally time to make that decision. The prospect of concluding young Sheldon at the end of its seventh season doesn't just revolve around the character's dynamics. It's also about maintaining the integrity of the story. The evolution of George's character and the challenges faced by the Cooper family have provided depth and emotional resonance to the series. Yet, with the passing of George and the potential fallout from his affair, the show would enter uncharted territory, exploring themes of loss, betrayal, and resilience. 
Additionally, the storytelling focus has subtly shifted away from Sheldon's childhood quirks to broader family dynamics. This shift not only adds complexity, but also allows other characters to shine, making the series more well-rounded. By ending the show on a poignant note, the creators can honor the characters and their journey, leaving viewers with a sense of closure. Moreover, considering the finite nature of the narrative, a spin-off could offer a fresh perspective. It could delve into the lives of Sheldon's siblings or explore the next generation, preserving the essence of the original series while venturing into new and unexplored territories. This approach would not only keep the spirit of the show alive, but also provide opportunities for character growth and development. As viewers, we've laughed with the Coopers, empathized with their struggles, and celebrated their triumphs. The end of young Sheldon could serve as a tribute to the resilience of the human spirit, reminding us that life is a journey filled with challenges, love, and unexpected moments of joy. And in bidding farewell to this chapter, we paved the way for new stories, new characters, and new adventures, ensuring that the legacy of the Coopers lives on in the hearts of fans. As young Sheldon approaches its seventh season, the signs are pointing towards a natural and heartfelt conclusion. By gracefully bringing the story of the Cooper family to an end, the creators can craft a fitting finale that resonates with viewers, encapsulating the essence of the series while opening doors to future possibilities. Through this decision, the world of Sheldon Cooper, with all its humor, heart, and humanity, can find a meaningful closure, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television storytelling. You're absolutely right, the challenges faced by young Sheldon are not just limited to its storyline. The natural growth of its young actors Ian Armitage and Reagan Reverd presents a significant obstacle. For years, networks have employed various strategies to prolong the longevity of successful sitcoms, often slowing down the aging process of young cast members. However, there comes a point where these actors inevitably outgrow their roles making it difficult to maintain the illusion of childhood on screen. In the case of young Sheldon, Ian Armitage, and Reagan Reverd have now reached a stage where they are noticeably older than the characters they portray. This stark contrast between the actors' real ages and the ages of their characters creates a dissonance that is hard to overlook. Viewers are astute and observant, they notice when the characters they've grown attached to no longer align with the actors' physical appearances. CBS faces a dilemma with the established canon of the Big Bang Theory and the aging of its young cast. The network must make a decision. Creating another spin-off could be a viable option, exploring different facets of the Cooper family or introducing entirely new characters within the same universe. However, this approach comes with its own set of challenges, requiring careful storytelling to ensure the new series captures the essence of what made the original shows so beloved. On the other hand, disregarding canon entirely is a risky proposition. Fans of both The Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon have invested years in these characters' stories, and any deviation from established continuity could alienate the dedicated fanbase. Striking the right balance between honoring the existing narrative and exploring fresh storylines is a delicate task, one that requires meticulous planning and creative finesse. As the network grapples with these decisions, one thing remains certain. The legacy of Sheldon Cooper and his family has left an indelible mark on television history. Whether through a well-crafted spin-off or a respectful conclusion to young Sheldon, the challenge lies in ensuring that the essence of these characters and their world continues to captivate audiences, even as the actors themselves inevitably grow older. The key is to find a way to transition seamlessly, allowing viewers to embrace the next chapter while cherishing the memories of the past. The first option, transitioning young Sheldon into a show titled The Coopers, offers a logical evolution of the series. By focusing on Missy, Georgie, and the rest of the family, the show can delve into their individual journeys and collective experiences. This ensemble approach allows for a broader exploration of characters, relationships, and storylines, providing a fresh perspective while retaining the familiar charm of the Cooper family dynamic. 
Viewers already emotionally invested in these characters would have the opportunity to see them grow and face new challenges, creating a seamless transition from the original series. On the other hand, the second option, placing young Sheldon in an alternate universe, provides creative freedom while preserving the integrity of the existing storylines. In this scenario, the show can continue with the same cast, maintaining the continuity of their roles without the constraints of adhering to the Big Bang Theory's canon. Sheldon can remain in Texas, and George can continue to be a part of the story, allowing the series to explore uncharted territory without conflicting with established events. This approach offers a clean break from the original series, enabling the writers to craft unique narratives without being bound by the past, ensuring creative flexibility while keeping the essence of the characters intact. Ultimately, the decision rests on CBS's vision for the future of the young Sheldon universe. Whether it's embracing a new ensemble-focused narrative within the existing continuity or exploring uncharted territories in an alternate universe, both options present exciting opportunities for storytelling. The key lies in honoring the character's history while embarking on new adventures, ensuring that fans continue to be captivated by the world of the Coopers, no matter which path the network chooses to take. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. And your suggestions for the future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.